Hi everyone, are you okay? Little angels, are we together? It's your teacher, Anuncieta. Welcome to Easy Elimu Learning Simplified. Today is my favorite day. He made it a special day. I love tomorrow, yesterday, but today is my favorite day. How, is today your favorite day? Are you having fun wherever you are? We say, while we grow, we learn. Okay? Now, last lesson. Who can remind me what you talked about last lesson? Can't remember. What did you talk about last lesson? Last lessons we are talking about smallest to biggest. Smallest to biggest. We were ordering things from smallest to biggest. But this lesson, we now want to do it the vice versa way. From biggest to smallest. We want to see which ones are biggest and which ones are the smallest. Look at my items today. We have this ring. We have this one. And we have this one. Who can tell me something about this items when I'm supposed to order them from the smallest to the biggest. Alternatively, let us use this one. This one looks bright. Yeah. Who can order our items from the biggest to the smallest? Let's label this as A and this as B. But they also have colors C. So what can you say between the green, red, and pink? Which one will be the first one when you have to order them from the biggest to the smallest. Probably the pink one. Look at the pink one. Pink one, the biggest, yeah. If I compare the pink and the yellow and the green, what can you say? The pink is the biggest. So I'm ordering this from the biggest. So the pink will start, yellow comes in between, and the last one is green. So I had Janet Jen and John, they were playing a game. And the first one will say, I come first with let I come first with color pink. I am the biggest. Then James comes and say, I follow next with color yellow. I am in the middle. And Jen came there and say, I come last with color green. I am the smallest. So I learned that, oh, as far as we are all of the same age, same size, we can be of different height. When you look at John, John is big. When you look at Janet, Janet is in the middle there. He's not, she's not so big and he's not so small. But when you look at Janet, she's in the same class with, with John, but she's the smallest. Have you seen that? Good. So. The teacher told us, the other day I was in a traffic. Do you know what is a traffic jam? Where vehicles are now stuck, they are not moving. And if they are moving, they are moving in a very slow manner. So you just go, they move slowly, they stop. Slowly, they stop. They stayed there for around two hours. That time, I know your mothers came home very late. Do you know that? And one of my people asked me, I told her, yes. Then she told me, I didn't know that these vehicles have different sizes. I told her, why? The other time, when my mommy was also on the jam, I was there in the vehicle with mommy. Then I saw a truck. Huh? Monster truck. Do you know this truck that carries uh, sand? He told her, yes. I saw the truck. The truck was there. Huh? Then there was a small saloon car that was following us. Then we had another one that looked like a van for the school. And these vehicles, all of them were on the road. I realized that the truck was big. Anytime it came closer to us, I was like, it might fall on me. Then we were here in the middle. And there was a van that we were following. So this truck was very big. I know it was carrying sand. And there was the school van in front of us. 
So mommy told me, have you seen the truck? Then I told her, yes. But anytime it came closer, I could go and, oh, it might fall on me. I hide. So he told me, now, you see the truck is big. The truck is big. Our vehicle is big, yes. But are you saying, can you compare our vehicle and the truck? The truck is the biggest there. So he, I was told now to order these vehicles according to size. And I was there wondering, now, if I look at the truck, the truck was the biggest here. So the truck is here, which is the biggest. Then we have the school van that followed in between. Then we have our car that was there. So we are following it slowly so that we cannot get crushed. So anytime I entered the class, I could look around and see what are the big things in our class and what are the smallest things in our class. Look at these two peoples. Are you seeing these two peoples? Are you seeing the two peoples? Yes. These two peoples are big. When I compare the word classroom and these two peoples, what can you say? These two peoples are the biggest here. Now, I have this word classroom. I have this word, uh, which were the word, which are the word? Are you seeing this small one here? Written on numbers? Yes. Now, we want to compare this picture. You want to compare the word classroom and this picture. What can you say when I'm supposed to arrange from the biggest to the smallest? The pupil's picture is the biggest, followed by the classroom picture. Then the smallest is this one. I think the smallest, the smallest is this one. So I have biggest, this one, followed by classroom. Then I have this small one here. So in your house, I want you to order things from the biggest to the smallest. We can order our tables in the house. We can order the seats. What else can you order in the house? Someone tell me something. What can you order in the house? Even the cups, even the tumblers, even the glasses, even the plates. That those that are big. Have you ever seen a dinner plate? It's big. Then we have these other plates that you can put beside it. Then you compare it with the saucer, the one that holds the cup. A dinner plate is the one that is put in the middle. It is always the biggest. Then we have the side plates. Then we have the small ones. These ones are the saucer, the one we put on cups. When you look at these sizes, what can you tell me? I want you to order them from the biggest to the smallest. From the smallest to the biggest. Let us play that game. Let us continue enjoying that lesson. Let us continue arranging those things from the biggest to the smallest, smallest to the biggest. And we keep on doing it until our baby brothers know it, until our baby sisters know it, until even our siblings who are in the village know it. That is all for today. I hope you enjoyed the lesson. I wish you well and I hope you will join in the next lesson.